Welcome back. This video deals with diagram eight, new and second hand goods from a VAT perspective. So before we actually can do new and second hand goods, there are a couple of questions that you need to ask and I've got them here in blue. It says, have the goods been purchased from a VAT vendor or have goods been purchased from a non-vendor? Now, over here in the notes, or what happens when goods are purchased from a VAT vendor. So let's just actually just think about VAT vendors before we carry on doing anything. What does a VAT vendor do? A VAT vendor will issue you with an invoice. It'll be a VAT invoice. There'll be VATs on the invoice. And because there's a tax invoice there, you can claim VAT, whether the goods are new or secondhand. So I've got two blocks over here, these two blocks here, this one and this one. And they both actually have the same answer. It says new goods purchased, what will happen? VAT may be claimed on the purchase of goods. And if it's second-hand goods, VAT may be claimed on the purchase of goods. So when you buy from a vendor, you can always claim VAT back. And what's going to happen? If new trading stock costing 115 is purchased from a vendor, you can claim 15 Rand input VAT. And if second-hand trading stock is bought, again, you can claim input VAT of 15 Rand. So when we buy from a vendor, it's very, very straightforward. We can always claim VAT. Now, question one says, what happens if you pay from a non-vendor? It says, question two, are the goods purchased new or unused? Or are the goods purchased second-hand? A second-hand good is a good that has previously been used, a unit in a share block excluding coins and animals. Now that is in the definitions, and you can look at your legislation and highlight the definition in section one. So let's just go down the other column. So when you buy from a vendor, what have we done already? You can always claim that. When can you claim it? Well, if it's on an invoice, on the earlier of payment or when the invoice is issued. What happens if you buy from a non-vendor now? Now, non-vendors do not issue a VAT invoice. So traditionally, you can't claim VAT because you didn't get a VAT invoice. But there's a special rule that's been introduced to help pawn shops or to help secondhand car dealers, people like that. And I just wanted to show you what happens with this. So if there wasn't a rule, let's imagine I'd sell my second-hand car. Okay, and let me, let's imagine I sold it for 100,000 Rand. And let's imagine the dealer then sells the car for 110,000. But what needs to happen? He only gets 100 over 115 of that. How much is 100 over 115 of that? It's 110,000 times by 100 divided by 115. And that amount is actually equal to 95,652. And then the VAT is the additional 14,000. 348 that gets paid to sales. So you'll be buying a car for 100, but you'd be selling it for 95. Clearly, that's not a good business model. So what they do is they say for pawn shops or for second-hand car dealers or any business, you may claim a notional input VAT on this 100,000 Rand. So you would be able to claim 100,000 Rand that you paid for it times 15 over 115. And we call this notional input VAT. Okay, so let's just go back to the notes. And let's have a look at the notes themselves. It says, as no tax invoice is obtained from the non-vendor, VAT input cannot be claimed using normal rules. There are special rules that apply which allow notional input VAT to be claimed when purchasing second-hand goods from a non-vendor. So it's got to be second-hand goods. Okay. So the first thing is, if it's new goods, okay, that may not be claimed. So this only applies to second-hand goods. What's going to happen? Second-hand goods purchased are from a non-vendor. So there's special rules. 
relating to purchase of second-hand goods from a non-vendor. In certain circumstances, notional input VAT may be claimed on the purchase of goods. What are the rules? Amounts of VAT, how much can we claim? Lower of cost or open market value of the goods. Okay. Now, if you are able to take a SACA legislation handbook into an exam with you, if you highlight these three sections, okay, section one, definition of what a second-hand good is. So this is, it's previously used, excluding coins, animals, etc. So there's the definition. Section one, definition of input VAT, paragraph B. Second-hand goods, what can you claim? The tax fraction on the lesser of the consideration in money or the open market value of any sec second-hand good. So lower of cost or open market value. So, very, very easy to remember the value of supply if you can take a SACA legislation handbook in with you. However, if you can't, you need to learn amount of that, lower of cost or open, mar or open market value. Motor dealers must use cost. So, you have to use cost if you're a motor dealer. And what's the time of supply? It says VAT is claimed is limited to the amount that has been paid. Okay. There are additional rules for second and fixed property acquired. Refer to the section on fixed property. We've got a separate diagram for that. So it's limited to the amount paid. So you, you have to pay it to be able to claim it. Okay. Once again, there's the timing for a second hand goods. Second hand goods to the extent that payment I'm asking you to highlight. So you can only claim to the extent that payment has been made. So if you can take your book in, much easier for you. Okay. So let's just look at three examples. It says, bought second-hand goods from a non-vendor for 11 and a half in January. Market value of goods is 12.3. 11.5 paid in March. So value of supply, lower of cost, 11 and a half. Open market value, 12.3. So that's the value. When can we claim it? To the extent payments has been made. Only paid in March, so we can only claim in the March VAT return. Second example. Bought a second-hand good from a non-vendor for 13,000 Rand in January. Market value of goods is 11 and a half. 13,000 paid in January. So lower of cost, 13. Open market value, 11 and a half. So we're going to use 11 and a half. When can we claim it? It's paid in January, therefore we can claim it in the January VAT return. It says bought a second hand good from a non vendor for eleven and a half in Jan. Market value of goods is twelve three, lower of cost to open market value, eleven and a half. Five seven five oh paid in March. So what can you do in March? You can claim five seven five oh times fifteen over one one five in March. Another five seven five oh paid in April, so we can claim the rest of that in April. Okay, so just on this, just make sure you understand. I'm going to come back to these do you understand again at the end. It says, do you understand when new or secondhand goods acquired from a vendor, input VAT can be claimed using normal rules? When new goods acquired from a non vendor, input VAT may not be claimed. No VAT invoice, can't claim. Special rule for secondhand goods. When second-hand goods, excluding animals and coins, and some gold products are acquired from a non-vendor, a notional input VAT can be claimed. Value of supply, lower of cost to open market value, limited to the amount paid. Time of supply is when amounts are paid. Okay, and you should know that. And what I want to do is I want to do the three practical, ex the practical examples with you over here. Okay, there are four actually. So we're going to do them one at a time. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try, do practice example 8.1 by yourselves. It should take you about five minutes to do. And then press pause in the video and come back to this practical example. I've assumed that you've done it. It says a non-vendor is going bankrupt. The non-vendor sells new electric blankets. He sells 30,000 rands worth of stock to a vendor. So it's a non-vendor, there's no VAT invoice. He sells new electric blankets. So this is the sale of new goods by a non-vendor. What is the rule? Do you understand? When new goods are acquired from a non-vendor, input VAT may not be claimed. So this one is acquired from a non-vendor. You can't claim 
input that because it's not a second-hand good. Okay. It says, in addition, he sells a second-hand delivery vehicle to the same vendor for 20,000 Rand. So what happens with the delivery vehicle? We need to see whether it's second-hand. It is. This is second-hand. It's a good that has been previously used. So what happens with a second-hand good? Notional input VAT can be claimed. How much can you claim? 15 over 115 times by 20,000. And you'd be able to claim input VAT of 2608. Okay? And it's claimed when it's paid. It doesn't say when it's paid yet, but you can claim it when it's paid. And then it says, a Volkswagen Golf is also sold to a vendor. The vendor pays cash for the goods immediately. So guys, input VAT claims are denied on motor cars. A Volkswagen Golf is a motor car. So basically what would happen in an exam with something like this is you'd sit there and say, listen, it's a second-hand good. But even though notional input VAT can be claimed, normally on second-hand goods, no VAT can be claimed. Why? Because input VAT is denied on the acquisition of a motor car. Okay. So that denial of VAT overrides this rule. Part B says, would the situation change if the open market value of the delivery vehicle was 17.1 and was bought from a person that's not connected to the enterprise? Yes. It would change it because it's lower of cost 20 or 17.1. And what's going to happen, guys? You would only be able to claim in this case 15 over 115 times by 17,100. And what would that be? That would be equal to 2,230 Rand. Just a reminder the solutions are in the practice example solution um, notes that are included in your PACER. What I'd like you to do now is, I would like you to try to practice example 8.2. Okay, this should take you about three or four minutes to do. And press pause now and come back to the video once you've done it. I'm assuming you've done it. Just want to actually just remind you of something on the previous page. It says here, motor dealers must use cost. Very, very important. So if you're dealing with a motor dealer, remember, they use cost. So it says A limited, a used car dealer, buys a second-hand motor vehicle for 50. The 50,000 is payable 10,000 on February 18, 15 on March 15, 25 on April 20. A limited submits monthly VAT returns. The amount used were paid on the due dates. The market value of the car is 48,000. Rand. So, what's going to happen with this? Okay. So, let's start going through this. It's 50, but it's a, a limited a used car dealer uses it, so they're going to be based on cost. Now, because it's a car dealer and it's at cost, you cannot use lower of cost or open market value. So, what are we going to do? We are going to claim as we make payments on this car and how much are we paying so the first payment that we make is 15,000 is 10,000 rand when do we make it in Feb so in Feb what would you do you'd say 10,000 times by 15 over 115 and we would be able to claim that of 1304 second payment is in March so March, how much do we pay? 15,000 Rand times 15 over 115. 15,000 times 1, 15 over 115 is equal to 1956. In April, we pay the remaining 25,000 Rand times 15 over 115, and we'd be able to claim 3261. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask you to consider if this wasn't a second-hand car dealer, how would the solution change? Now, if this wasn't a second-hand car dealer, what would happen is the following. Instead of being able to claim 25,000 rand, okay, it would be lower of cost, 50, or open market value. So instead of claiming 25,000 rand there, we'd have to claim 23,000 rand. 
And how much would we be able to claim? We'd be able to claim 23,000 rand times 15 over 115 is equal to 3,000 rand. So generally what happens is if it's low of cost to open market value, then we've got to write it down. Claim as you pay, but the last payment, because you overpaid for the asset, you're going to claim less VAT on it, and you'd only claim on the 23,000. Next one, practical example, 8.3. Second-hand goods paid for installments to a vendor. I'd like you to try to do this. It should take you three or four minutes to do. Please press pause now. See whether you get it right. So I don't know whether you fell for the trick here. It says a company that's a registered vendor buys a second-hand delivery vehicle from a second-hand car dealer that is a registered VAT vendor. So yes, this is a second-hand good, but it is not bought from a non-vendor. It is bought from a vendor. So there's a vehicle costing 40, which is payable, using four installments commencing monthly on 1st of March. What are the bad implications? So this is a simple thing, guys. There's an invoice. What do we get to claim? 40,000 times 15 over 115, which is 5217. We get to claim that. And when do we get to claim it? Up front. This is bought from a vendor. You don't when, when you buy normally from a vendor, you claim all of the VAT up front. It doesn't matter when you pay them. Because generally it's on the earlier of invoice or payment. Okay? The value of supply, amount on the invoice, the 5217. Time of supply, earlier of invoice or payment for a company, because companies are registered on an invoice basis. So there's no funny things like in this question where you've got to just break up the payments and do stuff. It's from a vendor. Claim everything up front. If it's from a non-vendor, there's a non-vendor, then the timing rule applies for second-hand goods bought from a non-vendor. I'd like you to try to do practice example 8.4 now and see how you're doing it. So let's just discuss this one a little bit more detail. It says discuss VAT implications. So this one doesn't have a mark allocation, but I just want to show you how I would approach doing something like this. If you're able to take your cycle legislation handbook into an exam, I've actually given you three different sections to highlight. So I've, start, I've got section one definition of a secondhand good. So what I would do is I'd start off saying, listen, a doll's house, has it been previously used? Yes, and therefore it meets the definition of a second-hand good. I would then also state what is the rule for a second-hand good acquired from a non-vendor. The value of supply rule is the tax fraction, 15 over 115, times by the lesser of the consideration in money or open market value of any second-hand good. So let's just go back to the question and just have a look at this. So it was bought originally for 20,000 Rand, and when was it bought? On 15 Jan, and they paid the 20,000 on 15 Jan. And then they also promised to pay her 10% of the final selling price ex VAT. And they sold it for 80,000 Rand in Feb, and an additional 8,000 was paid to her for that additional 10,000. So lower of cost, 20 plus 8, 28. They thought it was worth 50, so lower of open market value, 50, or 28, so we're going to use a 28. So we can claim up to 28 on this doll's house. Going back to the cycle legislation, timing for a second-hand good, it's to the extent that payment is made. So what's going to happen with this? We paid 20,000 on 17 Jan, so what's going to happen? We can claim... 20,000 times 15 over 115, notional input VAT on a second-hand good, on 17 January. We can claim another 8,000 times 15 over 115 on 27 February, in the February VAT return. And then you've got a normal thing, dolls with a cost of 34.2 were acquired from a VAT vendor in March. These dolls were paid for in June. Guys, these are quite from a VAT vendor, so second-hand goods rules aren't going to apply for this. Now, 
where was it in your cycle legislation handbook it's when we did the bases for VAT okay so this was the sheet that you had for the accounting bases and with the accounting bases it says the vendor shall account on an invoice basis unless the vendor is a natural person 12 months has not exceeded two and a half more so companies have to be on an invoice basis so going back to this question antiques and collectibles PTY limited it's a company it has to be on an invoice basis companies have to be on an invoice basis and you're buying from a vendor so what's going to happen we need to apply the normal rules to it so what are the normal rules time of supply general rule time an invoice is issued or payments of consideration whichever time is earlier so in this question guys what are you going to do you're going to say time of supplies earlier of invoice or payment invoices in March paid for in June therefore we're going to count for in March and we have a look I've got here value of supply rule I've asked you to highlight the entire section okay and essentially what did I ask you to understand by that section if it's paid in cash value is equal to the amount paid if not paid in cash open market value okay this is paid for in cash so it's going to be the 34,200 times 15 over 115 and this is how you will try structure a discussion question because you need to refer back to your legislation to answer it properly going back to do you understand again do you understand when it's a new or second hand good acquired from a vendor input that baby claim using normal rules that's this the dolls acquired from a vendor when new goods are acquired from a non-vendor input that may not be claimed can't claim it just like when you bought the electric blankets up in this example couldn't claim it because it's new bought from a non-vendor can't claim it and then when new when second-hand goods excluding animals coins and some gold products acquired from a non-vendor notional input can be claimed value supply lower of cost to open market value time of supply when the amounts are paid if you can take it cycle legislation handbook in your exam provided you've tagged it properly you will be absolutely fine and I just want you to consider something these three tags should be directly on top of one another in your book in the same color so that they are lined up in the same color so that you know that the three of them work together for your exam so these three should be lined up okay similarly these three tags should be lined up as well for those three sections to make sure you understand and this could be normal VAT rules if you want to call it that okay so please just make sure you tag your books properly if you're allowed to take it into exam if you're not you've got to learn this off by heart